Now, how do we actually see this uh, database inside Django? So for that, what we're going to do is we are going to use this admin.py file over here. So first we are going to import these models to our admin.py file. So we are just going to write from my site, import models. And then over here, register your models over here. We can just write admin.site.register register and over here we can just type in the model name in our case it's a student so we can just write student over here student all right instead of importing models we can actually import uh, the student so let's uh, write my site dot dot models and then we import the student so we can just write student over here and now it doesn't show us any error so we are basically adding this site inside our admin panel so actually let me just remove it from over here and show you how, how our administration panel looks without this line and then I'm going to add this line later. So now what we can do is we can go back to our manage.py file and uh, run the server again. Press enter. Alright and uh, we can go back to our uh, thing over here and press enter. Alright our website looks good. Now what you can do is we go and go to admin, admin panel and you can see that there is no student uh, student model over here so what we are going to do is we are going to go back to our admin.py file and add the student in our administration panel so we are just going to write admin.site.register like we did and inside it we are just going to write student and uh, that's pretty much it and hopefully we won't be able to it should be it should the, the server should refresh by itself all right it did so inside this my site you can see there is this new model of students over here and if you click on it it's empty so we can click on this add student and add a new student if you want manually so we can just write the email also press save so now we have a new student inside our model